Let the peoples praise you, O God, said the psalmist. Let all the peoples praise you. The earth has yielded its increase. God, our God, has blessed us. Welcome to Daily Devotions from Cram and Kirk on Saturday the 3rd of October. We're thinking about harvest. We'll be marking that in our Sunday service tomorrow. Let us pray. For the fruits of all creation, thanks be to God. For these gifts to every nation, thanks be to God. For the ploughing, sowing, reaping, silent growth while we are sleeping. Future needs in earth's safekeeping, thanks be to God. Amen. I wonder if you have a favourite harvest hymn. We plough the fields and scatter as popular. Come, you thankful people, come for the fruits of all creation. Or another which has lodged in your memory and reminds you of harvest festivals and this season of the year. Many years ago, the BBC produced a new songbook for schools called Come and Praise. It was a super book and it introduced me to the songs of Joseph Arthur Paul Booth. He has a lovely, clever harvest hymn, which I'm going to read as a reflective piece to you. It allowed me to view harvest in a much broader context than I had managed before. I hope it does the same for you. Pears and apples, wheat and grapes, many textures, many shapes, falling leaves in golden drifts. Thank you, God, for all your gifts. Flashing shoals of glistening fish, every colour you could wish. Fishing boats for you and me reap the harvest of the sea. Deep beneath the ocean shore, Fuel and power, fuel and power have lain in store, brought to us through dangerous toil. Thank you, God, for gas and oil. Coal and diamonds in the earth, minerals of priceless worth, skill and labour now combine, reaping harvests of the mine. Earth and ocean, plant and beast, all together make the feast. All who long to share your grace at your table have their place. Loving Lord, we know you care. Let the world your goodness share. Save us from our selfish greed, finding you in those in need. It is just as joyful and as deep as our psalm for today, which is Psalm 98, and I'm going to read from verse 7. Let the sea and its fish give a round of applause. Let every living thing on earth join in. Let the ocean breakers call out, Encore! And the mountains harmonise a finale. A tribute to God when he comes. When he comes to set the earth straight, he'll straighten out the whole world. He'll put it right, and everyone in it. Thanks be to God. Let us come close to God. Let us bring our prayers for ourselves, for the world, in this wonderful season of autumn. Let us pray. Trees suddenly dressed in red and yellow, a dusting of frost on the ground, stubble in the field, harvested and now ready for the plough, an early morning sunrise, brilliant in the crisp, cold air, a night sky speckled with starlight, whichever way we turn, autumn in all its beauty offers a riot of colour and catches our breath. And now a thanksgiving to the God who has given so much, the God who continues to give. 
forgive our moments of ingratitude. Forgive us when we behave irresponsibly and on this autumn morning awaken us once more, body, mind and spirit, not just to the light of a new day. Awaken our hearts and our spirits to the wonder that is the world, God-given and pleasing to our eyes. We pray together, saying, Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power and the glory for ever. Amen. May God bless us with joy this day, as we remember the delights of autumn and the blessings of harvest. In the name of the Creator, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.